Guys, what up? One of the videos I did lately had a lot of conversation, a lot of discourse with it. And that video is about Rachel Gunn, the Olympic break dancer, who quite frankly, a lot of people don't believe she actually knows how to break dance. Well, I came across a video that we're gonna watch right here. We're gonna talk about, and it appears that Rachel Gunn and the AOC has gotten one of this creator's videos deleted for talking about it. No, I am not joking. My name is Sydney. Welcome back to hell. <laughs> per usual, before we launch in, today's video is sponsored by me and my tea company, Lions Tea Exchange. Oh, damn. We've finally added three new limited edition she got a tea company. to the website and this beautiful wooden gift. You know what? I love when creators do something else or branch out, I guess you could say. Tea company, this is the first time I've seen this. Box. I, know I don't even drink really tea. It's hard to be thinking about the cooler weather when we're in summer, but all of these are available for pre-sale as we lead into the gift-giving season. Ooh, My gift boxes New York are breakfast. Super, super lovely. They're heavy. Earl they Grey, a classic. Dividers, so you can use I don't drink tea, but I know that Earl Grey is a classic. Whatever flavor you'd like to them as a gift. <laughs> So go check it out, organize your Christmas gifting early, or just buy them because they're awesome. I will link everything in the description. Lion's Tea. So, some things have happened over the last couple of days that I wanted to share with you all because it appears that our hell gondola is being capsized. Is that <laughs> the right boating reference? I just, I don't know. This. Hell gondola? All I know is that YouTube, Rachel Gunn, and the IOC have rolled up on my channel like... Look at me. Sure. Lots <laughs> <laughs> of extremely dumb nautical jokes to be made here. All aboard. Wait, that's trains. Now, as most of you already I think you used that for boats too. A few days ago about Australia's Olympic breakdancing sensation <laughs> Rachel Gunn, known by her dancing name Ray Gunn. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you any clips of Gunn's performance to illustrate what I am saying here, and I will explain why that is in a little bit. But what I have done instead, what I have taken it upon myself to do instead, is to create a reenactment <coughs> of said performance so that you can get the idea of what was going on and yes, feel free to rip this and use this footage in your own videos. Okay. Because I'm not a jerk. <laughs> the pickleball hat. That's great. Oh my. Oh, she even got the dogs in on it. <laughs> the dog's like, what's going on? <laughs> The dogs are wondering, is there something wrong with uh, with this girl right now? Had a really great time at the Paris Olympic Games. I feel like I did my best. I went out Excuse there and me. performed. I really performed and uh, uh. I'm gonna take home gold for Australia, uh -huh. even though I didn't win a single point. <laughs> and I am now hey we know now there's no points that I have historically hated someone also made this very alarming AI edit of Gunn's performance oh, at boy. the Olympic Games which I'm going to use because you know like I just said I can't use the real clips so enjoy <laughs> I don't know why I said that you're definitely not going to enjoy it it's uh it's, it's a little terrifying. Again, as most of you likely already know at this uh, point, clips of guns break. Okay, so far, so good. It's not that bad. As break dancing. Oh, look at her face, though. Look at her face games, there. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, AI definitely uh, can be alarming. But um, as of right now, it's things like this <laughs> that... Yeah, let me know that we, we still got a little bit of ways to go before perfection. This is, <laughs> wow, just wow. Pulled out some very interesting what dance the? moves, such as scooting herself around on the floor and <laughs> hopping around like a kangaroo, huh? I think. Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired in this. Roll a dopey, I'm high as a bitch. 
Ghost. <laughs> In my video, I discuss this performance and try to answer the question of how Gun got to the Olympics Hell yeah. in the first place. Hell yeah. Went... You know what? That is actually one of the questions that I had. That was the main question that I had with my video. And honestly, thankfully, I'm not a big channel uh, because, well, I would have to be dealing with this. But I guess if I was a big channel, I have people to deal with it for me or I would be have more resources to deal with what she's going through with her video. But yes, that was the question that I had. Like, how did this happen? Through what I could find out about the process, the organizations and actors at play and how it all fit together. And I decided that there was some weirdness afoot. <coughs> actually, on a serious note, a handful of professional dancers actually reached out to me after that video oh, went okay. live. And basically said that a number of my assessments as a layman turned out to actually be correct. Oh! Really with relation to just how seedy and shady the World Dance Sport Federation, known as- The fact that other dancers reached out to her to tell her that what she was saying, thinking about was true. Come on now. And let me let me be clear. I didn't watch, I haven't watched that first video that she did. Um, I remember seeing it, it was removed, but I believe what we take now, this is the video right here. And uh, it it is still, it is back up, I guess I should say. It was taken down, but it is back up now. The WDSF actually is. Which, and this you know, video is, uh, came out cool. yesterday. That's, that's very validating. A day ago. Today's Tuesday, you, came out Monday. Professional Whatever. dancers always strike me as people who have like, secret volcano layers. You just can't trust people who do rich people activities, like golfing or archery. <laughs> what are you hiding? Anyway, the reason I'm saying- Archery is fun, is okay? Because yesterday I woke up to a message from my dad asking me where my breakdancing video had gone. Actually, my mom asked me about it too, but she was much, much more conspiratorial right out of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Parents never stop keeping tabs on you. Parents Even breaking it down. Even separated by the Pacific Ocean. Anyway. That's actually funny because uh, I made a reference or comment in one of my videos last week about Cosmopolitan magazines and uh, my mom sent me a text message about it. Like, why you out me for them Cosmo magazines? And now she's going to watch this video and be like, why you out me for out me <laughs> about the Cosmo magazines? Anyway, it turns out my entire <laughs> video had been blocked and banned, essentially, because I'd been issued a copyright claim okay. from the International Olympic Committee. Known as okay, so I kind of had a situation like this happen to me with uh, a Snoop Dogg video where he was doing some commentary at the Olympics with uh, another guy. I think it was Saw what he was commenting on briefly but yeah i used like official olympic video uh or footage of a clip from the olympics official olympics account i believe and uh yeah they're like no you can't use this so i actually had to edit that part of the video out is the ioc this in turn like i said made it so that my video was blocked and basically yes. removed from the youtube platform yes unless i deleted the offending footage yes. or appealed and waited up to 30 days to just like see what would happen 100 I mean, totally i absolutely have 30 days to waste waiting for the ioc to kick me in the face yep. so i chose option one because the entire <laughs> video was blocked globally over a contested 15 seconds of footage because to my mind yeah. as crap as it is, I would rather a video be fully viewable while I appeal and contest these things behind the scenes than have it not be accessible at all. Honestly, it's a pretty crappy choice because you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, unless you can cut footage out and still have the video make sense, which like <laughs> nine times out of ten is probably not going to happen. I have dealt with a ton of copyright claims during my time on this platform, but Honestly, I have never really dealt with anything like this specifically. Usually the way that it works, and I'm not saying this is the case every time, but usually when a copyright claim comes in, the thing that becomes disputed is the financial yeah, side, the monetization. The making side of things. Yeah. This is partially why so many creators have a massive issue with YouTube's copyright system as it exists right now, because it's incredibly easy to abuse. 100%. Now, event, you hear about it all the time. doesn't have a copyright strike, which is different and another story and you yes. only have a copyright claim usually your video is still playable and viewable while
So copyright strike is a strike against the channel. You get three of those and you're done. That is like the worst case scenario. You don't want a copyright strike. Copyright claim is essentially somebody else is taking credit for the footage or the clip, something in your video that you are using. Somebody else is saying, no, that's my original content and they want all the ad revenue from it. While the appeal is in place and while the whole issue is- I know a little bit of YouTube. Behind the scenes. So again, usually the option is to appeal because usually you are covered under fair use and I'm not going to explain what that is. You guys are more than welcome to look up what fair use is and how it exists uh, when it comes to content creation and people can still view and access your video while all of this is going on and then you kind of just wait to see what happens. In this case, like I said, my entire video was gone. It was blocked per YouTube's wording. It wasn't accessible on the global scale. You couldn't see it, couldn't view it nothing could be done there. So I made the decision to cut out the copyrighted parts of the video and the exactly my same, content reinstated. Same thing as what I did. This sucks a lot for a bunch of reasons, but one of them is because now my video is very wonky and new viewers <laughs> are going to think that I can't edit. I mean, I can't anyway, but they're going to think I'm worse at it than usual. So for those of you who either decide to go back and rewatch it or watch it for the first time now, just know that I'm very sorry. It's, it's not my fault. I'm the captain now. Uh, <laughs> now, some of you are probably listening to this and thinking, okay, Sid, you've got- It's actually kind of funny how many times in my real life that I use that, uh, what's that movie? Captain something? Whatever, that I'm the captain now. Use it so many times, so many times. Us here, we're listening to you. Uh, what is the overall point of what you're trying to say? Well, I'm going to tell you, Stephen. I think it's fair to say that a <laughs> tremendous amount of interference has been run for Rachel Gunn. But not only that, the IOC has gone to enormous effort to wipe certain videos off the internet from this recent Olympic Games. And I'm not exaggerating. Interesting. When I say they are trying to wipe them off the internet. The weird thing about this, although I guess it's not that weird if you really think about it, is that this effort is not being applied evenly and unilaterally across the board. It I was just going to say part of that is me, my video up there. And I think it only has like 2K views. If I'm thinking of that video, the update video where she talks about whatever, like, yeah, obviously not as many views as her first video. And obviously I am under a thousand subscribers. So I'm just a salt grain on the map. It is being applied only to Amain Khalif, the boxer whose sex and chromosomes are in question, Lin Yu Ting, I'm sorry guys, I'm so bad with names, the other boxer whose chromosomes are in question, the opening of the Olympic Games, you know, the part with this round lady. I didn't even watch that, but God damn. Dressing disciples, as it were. <laughs> and of course, our friend Rachel Gunn and her very interesting breaking performance. Actually, side note, with relation to the opening of the games, the IOC took down <clears throat> their own videos of it and oh, have wow. aggressively copyrighted anyone else who tries to upload them. You guys did this to yourselves. 100%. You do something that you know is probably going to make people very mad if you don't plan to stand behind it. Please explain it to me like gutless. Absolutely too, gutless. This is actually pretty important and I already touched on this a little bit. The IOC isn't copyright claiming videos in a way that would normally happen particularly on this platform but also on others where again the financial side of things is in dispute but the video is still up and still playable. The IOC is fully restricting and banning yeah, just videos taking them these down in an effort to hide and cover up the most shameful and embarrassing parts of the Paris Olympic Games. And honestly, I don't know if necessarily it's just that. Like, like I said, my video wasn't blocked by the IOC, but it was Olympics anyways. And I honestly, I think they just want all Olympic views uh, from Olympic official channels. I don't know, like on this level, this surface level, I guess, of just videos being blocked. I don't know if there's anything really nefarious about it. Like I said, mine wasn't blocked by IOC. Mine was just blocked by, uh, I think it was NBC Olympics that uh, that I that I used the clip from. So I don't know if I can agree with that. Honestly, I think that's kind of a big deal. Like, I think this is genuinely important because it almost seems like they're trying to memory hold these specific events and performances. With that said, uh, I also think it's maybe, I don't know. worth noting that the IOC is not claiming videos that people have reacted positively or neutrally to. The Turkish huh. and Korean shooters who okay. went viral for just 
being badasses were all over Twitter for days. Yeah, that's and true. And I didn't see a single takedown occurring. The mm, same goes okay, for okay. of athletes being proposed to or doing proposals. Interestingly, and for all of your information, the IOC does actually have a history of issuing takedown notices and going after creators in the past. But I find it extremely interesting which clips this time around are being almost cherry-picked by the IOC to be taken down and removed from the internet. And there's one quite specific theme that runs through all of them. You guys know what it is. Testicle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> one of the theme is foolishness. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, one of the most annoying parts about all of this and copyright claims and whatnot is that nine times out of 10, a video is legitimately covered by fair use. Like in my case, using 15 seconds of footage, especially in a video that is transformative yeah. and educational. Hundred percent things that's that's just like insane that your video can be taken down i totally agree like i said the clip that i used of snoop dogg it was him like receiving a jersey and then yelling go like it was ridiculous it, like like she said 15 seconds man come on over something like this like yeah. So to reiterate, the IOC is not only copyright claiming content, but using the copyright system available to it, particularly here on YouTube, to block and ban the most questionable parts of the Olympic Games. And I am not remotely surprised that this is taking place with relation. Now that uh, she, I let her fully explain herself, because you know I'm just jumping in here every now and then. Um, I can agree. I agree. I agree with what she's saying. I changed my mind. To our old friend, Rachel Gunn. Since day one, Rachel Gunn especially has been babied and pandered to by both the IOC and the AOC, the Australian <coughs> Olympic Committee. And no, I'm not gonna make the same joke again about not confusing this AOC with the other AOC. <laughs> Although I want to because I'm repetitive. I covered this a little bit in my original video, but both the CEO and the head of the AOC stepped in to comment on the negative feedback Gunn was receiving over yeah. her performance. The head of the AOC, Anna Mears, basically defended Gunn by saying that she showed up to have a go and that's what counts. Like, color me crazy, but that's not what the Olympics is. Or this is me coloring her crazy. Be. The Olympics, at least in my opinion, is not the time to just show up and no. do your best and get a little pat You on said the, the best and athletes. Then go home with your participation trophy. It is Only a the best. series of events and sports with exceptional athletes yes. to signal greatness. Yes. Yeah, like, it's been that that way since forever and it just the kind of feels like everybody's forgotten that all of, of the a Olympics over one singular terrible breakdancing performance granted there's always discussion between uh professional athletes and amateur athletes when it comes to team sports that have professional leagues i.e basketball hockey soccer baseball I mean I don't think baseball's in the Olympics but uh we'll use hockey for an example because that's something that I have a lot of uh memories with uh you know knowledge about the NHL players don't get to play in the olympics all the time and that's strictly because they are usually under con well not usually but they're under contract with nhl teams and it, the nhl will have to take a break during the winter olympics in order for them to compete so that disrupts their own season and all of that is fair that makes sense totally understand um but things like this like this is a perfect example uh of what i'm sure she's going to explain just there's no reason for there not to be the best break dancer or break dancers from australia in the olympics in favor of this not job that that showed up <laughs> I know I should be used to this kind of thing by now but I just can't wrap my head around I wonder how many takes of that she took interference for the most questionable parts of the Olympic Games like I don't know I don't know what to make of that that's just the whole thing just feels wrong. Anyway, call me madly conspiratorial, but I do feel like there is more to this situation than meets the eye. But to reiterate- my Transformers. Here, I am surprised actually, that it was Rachel Gunn who got a video of mine blocked globally via the IOC. Like that is, that is really something. And speaking of our mate Rachel, and this is a little bit of an aside, she has now been- What? Talent agency in Australia. 
and then offered the opportunity to participate as a celebrity on a reality show. Oh, so like okay. I told well. you all in my last video, Australia has a habit of <clears throat> logging on to people who maybe shouldn't have celebrity status and like canonizing them. That's not just Australia, that's Canada, that's the US, that's, that's the Western culture, I'd say. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, uh, you, you gotta give him that hook too and spit on that thing, you get me? <laughs> Why, why are we like this? I think the lingering sentiment post the Paris Olympics, and honestly, this is really sad, is one of participation trophies and virtue signaling, almost to the point where it has completely overshadowed the reason for the Olympics in the first place. I can agree with that. Case and highlight, humans with exceptional sports pure abilities. athleticism seeming to understand this themselves the ioc has gone to great lengths to erase its most profoundly absurd moments i think if there is anything that signifies just how incredibly bad this olympics games was it's that the president thomas bach has announced that he will be resigning in 2025 despite being asked to stay on <laughs> he's held his post since 2013 by the way and he is now running for the hills through all of this it honestly makes me wonder Shocker. if the IOC has learned anything at all from paris one can only hope that they realize that going off the rails to cater to a bunch of insulated political narratives was not the way to go especially nope. if it resulted in them not only deleting their own clips and footage but trying to stop other people from sharing clips and footage of their own events and in the end as for our mate rachel gunn well she is seemingly protected from pointy words by not only two major Olympic bodies, but by the crazy abuse of the existing copyright system. Now, of course, and before I open the floor to all of you, this is just a reminder to check out my company, Lions Tea Exchange, using the link in the description. Get that tea, baby! Check out the limited edition of flavors that we have for Christmas Get that and tea. for autumn, and also the really cool gift boxes that if are- If I drink tea, I'd probably buy some. I promise you, you will not regret it. They are very delicious, and the boxes are super cool. I know, uh, hot beverage kind of guy, though. What do you all think? What do you make of the IOC using the copyright system to globally ban and restrict and block access to footage from its own Olympic Games? What do you make of the fact that it's only doing it to a specific number of clips, Wild. To a specific number of performances and events from the Olympics? Do you think that there's something weird going on? Do you think that that's actually pretty normal, that it's actually up to their discretion? And what do you generally make of this issue overall? As always, if you have made it this far in the video, congratulations. I always like having you along for the full ride. If you are new here and you would like to see more of me and more of this kind of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well as leaving this video a like and a comment because I do read the majority of your comments and I really like hearing your feedback. Of course, if you have a video suggestion, feel free to leave me one. You know what? I think that it, uh, they have the right, IOC, and they have the right to, you know, uh, protect their content, we'll say. Um, is it a good look? No. Uh, are, are people going to remember this absolutely and quite frankly i bet you in two years we'll see it with the winter olympics as well yeah it's uh it's very interesting like i mentioned i even had some olympic coverage clips that i had to remove from videos just because they were from a you know they they were copyrighted for whatever copyright claim for whatever but i guess that's how she goes and like i said the uh original video and like she said is back up so if you want to go watch her original video on this uh feel free obviously i'll have the link to this video down in the description thank you you for watching my name is rich this was a react video but the channel is still called the five minute face i don't know where i was going with that uh thanks for watching let me know what you guys think down below have yourselves a great day